Ma me vana se ma Pen Dream TV. Pen Dream TV die o se dem yopo. Tina TV so en juju mu se Kevin boa. But there's one thing because a Kevin Taylor dey me yin na yen tro. In some me Kenya en fa kwen mu na se mi twan tro to aban so a. Aban has all the documents in Ghana. The government has every document. Now look at the statement the information minister could do upon Kruma released. Now who stated this statement now upon Kruma a release here now. You could see clearly say the government of the day was happy this happened. So I would see the tone of a letter now at the, the latter part of the letter now upon Kruma was like this was supposed to happen. So the government itself was telling us, say, any media house that will try and tell the, the truth, you know, they will kill somebody there because the media house is in the world. Almost so, ever make sure say, sa kekre kekre na anya no kure no kuku kuku so enye. Into kind letter na. This is the tone of the letter. This is coming from the government of the day. Led the ministry is led by a former journalist, Kojo Ponkroma. You see how dangerous power is. Into a Ponkroma stand office. No ma prepare letter with that because they were waiting for somebody to kill these boys there. Na omo release letter. So this letter had been released before they went to the UTV eh, the studios. Not upon Kruma Matra letter we are to her. And they were waiting for these boys to go do the damage. No more releasing statement we. In this old tier stated many years, okay letter here. The letter was made, put together before. I said the Ministry of Information on Saturday, October 7th, 2023, made a report to the Ghana Police Service to intervene in an incident at the studios of UTV, a private TV station in Ghana. This followed reports to the media monitoring center of the ministry that a group of persons, or say a group of persons, saying can information ministry ministry person be clear and honest with Ghanaians are come say NPP because the boys we saw there we all know them and even they made that statement said they are NPP boys. Some are regional organizers. Some are deputy regional organizers. Some are working at Ghana Gas. We know them. We live with them. So you saw the information ministry. Some men, because they are trying to distance uh, the, the party and the government from the murder that was supposed to happen. They had planned it already. Now, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, about three days, I'm going to say, now you move forward. It says this. The police subsequently arrested 16 persons at the premises of UTV and investigations are currently ongoing. Also, the ministry condemns in no uncertain terms any unauthorized entry into media organizations in protest at media um, content or interference with media work. The right to free expression and the freedom of the media are key pillars of our democracy and must be fiercely protected. The ministry stands with the police and the courts in the conduct of their duties. The ministry does not stand with the media. The ministry does not stand with the people who are going to be hurt. The ministry does not stand with a uh, pressmen and press freedom. But the ministry stands with the media, with the police and the court. That is being manipulated by the same government. The ministry, it stands with the court and the police. The ministry does not stand with the media. The ministry does not stand with the people who are going to be killed. The ministry only stands with the authorities or institutions that it can manipulate. If those people were murdered, they would have used the police and used the judiciary to clear the criminals. The same way they use the police and the judiciary to clear the Delta Force killers who went to court, attacked a pregnant uh, judge and took their guy away. This is the content they were trying to tell you. They don't stand with you, the media. Now, Oko Asewa finally say, the ministry wishes to encourage the media especially broadcast media shows hosts and panelists to do their utmost to help promote a national cohesion even as they exercise their fundamental freedoms aha and chose could do upon kuma wa bodam at the end of the day nobody can tell anyone what to say on tv or on, on radio and since we started watching utv show no Nobody has made a treasonous statement. Obianka say nko ka bengu. 
Obian ka se yenko boku for the Obian ka se Ghana constitution no yenbuni nimtia. They were expressing their opinions on happenings in the country. And when you express your opinion on happenings in the nation, you are basically discussing national issue. So at the end of the day, what have they done by expressing an opinion or speaking on issues that they live in? So for you to just say, say, they are not obliged, they are not under any 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 rule to go and sit there to move the national agenda of a government of the day. Their job is to go and express an opinion. And it could go against you or go for you. At the end of the day, it's just them, their opinions. So for you to just make a statement that they are supposed to walk a specific line, you are forcing them to do what the government wants. And that is what the constitution speaks against. The constitution says, you government don't have the right. You shall not. When you say you shall not, you cannot even suggest where they should go and what they should say. Stay away automatically or stay away totally. Now you are telling them to go the way you want. You are now dictating for the media. So as Technically, could you upon Chroma catch the media and walk Ghana and say, So one Kasama NDC, a MPP, you be cool. So one yet the NPP are buying a pa, we will come after you. Kukru Kukra, I ain't ya, Kekeke, and so enjoy, and one no letter on the tough one. So the journalist on TV, ni radio, Omoka say, This matter is MPP, NDC, Omoboa. They are dangerous people. They are the enemies of the state. A queer pocket money, uncle for no, they just don't want to understand. They say, Omo Asante and Pipino, a good Ghana, a say Ghana, a cat, a patino, a say in you Why don't you want to give it? Why don't you want to understand? It's been seven years, seven good years. These guys have not been able to do anything. You are still defending this government, equalizing nonsense. Moi Jimmy Jimmy, they will kill you people, guys. That's it. I'll be back. Next time to talk about Ghana. My name is Kevin Akobiru Taylor. This was a short Sunday um, show. Mommy and Junjun, we have a very, very important issue. I will say a discussion. Now you're making sure say MPP are buying on. To vote for MPP, it does not matter who represented themselves like bearer. You are killing yourself. You are killing your, your, your children. You are destroying Ghana. NPP, no Ghanaian and Ajunye Juma should vote for MPP. Eh? When you give power to MPP again, what you are seeing today, you see 10 times. You are going to see 10 times of what you are seeing. Maybe I'm a messenger. I'm a messenger without a Bible or a Quran. I say I am a messenger without a Bible or a Quran. I am a messenger who is ready and willing to speak truth to power. Good evening and God bless you. So far, so good. Se open online portal e Ghana. Ah, ni pa share, ni pa follow, ni pa comment ya. To my best of knowledge, without any biases, I have TV.